I'm gonna show you here how when it comes to club head speed and how far you hit the ball, it is more about arm speed and almost very little about hip speed, all right? So I've got two devices hooked up here. I've got my flight scope launch monitor, which is gonna tell us the club head speed. And I've got uh, an app on my phone, um, Golf MTRX, and you strap this to your back here, and it tells you hip speed in degrees per second. I'm gonna hit a ball off my feet, and then I'm gonna hit a ball off my knees. The range of drives off my feet was between 118 miles an hour and 125 miles an hour for off my feet, and off my knees in between uh, 107 and 112 miles an hour. So as you can see, there's about a 10 mile an hour difference between off my feet and off my knees, which isn't significant when you're talking, you know, that's less than 10%. Uh, whereas the different in hip speeds, 540 degrees per second and 590 degrees per second on my feet. And on my knees, I was between 220 degrees per second and 260 degrees per second. So as you can see, my hip speed was less than half what it was when I was standing up, yet I only had about a 10% loss in club head speed. Hip speed and club head speed um, don't really have even close to a direct correlation. Hip speed is more about lining up where you're directing the club head speed. So hypothetically, if your hips were very, very slow, you would direct the speed too far to the right, all right? Which, coincidentally, my path on my off the knee swings were more than 10 degrees to the right where off the feet, there are only a few degrees to the right. So as you can see, the speed of the hips was more about the direction where my club head speed was going versus actually creating the club head speed. So the point of all of this is learning to accelerate your arms faster is where you get more club head speed from.